holidays, guys, from the beautiful Sandals Royal Curacao, Daniela and I decided to come here to rest up after so many 24-hour trips we've taken in the past few months. If you're new here, my name is Milo. I am a travel lifestyle content creator based in Miami, Florida. And in this video, we're going to discover everything that Sandals Curacao has to offer. Are you guys ready? Let's go. The flight from Miami to Curacao is three hours. All travelers must complete the digital immigration card within seven days before arriving in Curacao. The good news is that there is no filing fee and the form is easy to complete. You may find the form in the description box of this video. You'll find the sandals desk at the airport fast since it's probably the biggest one there. Anyway, once you get there, the team will check you in for your bus transfer, which is between 30 to 40 minutes long. They also have light snacks and water, so you can take them on the bus. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the room we're staying in, which is beautiful. Guys, welcome to room 2253. Come on inside. The room was massive with lots of drawers, a comfy mattress, a decent sized bathroom area with red lane spa amenities, a fully stocked mini bar included with your stay, and because this is a club level room, we also had access to room service, concierge services, and the club sandals lounge. And the tub? Yeah, that was easily our favorite feature in the entire room. things you can do when you stay at a sandals resort is to go on snorkeling trips and that is exactly what we're going to do today and the day looks spectacular perfect for a snorkeling trip yeah we're good Now guys, if you're new to the Sandals brand, just so you know, everything is included. From five-star global gourmet dining, to airport transfers, gratuities, land and water sports, entertainment, pretty much anything you can think of is included with your stay. Now, there are some additional stuff that it's included depending on the type of room you stay at, but for the most part, everything is included. There are a few details here and there to fine tune, so it lives up to the sandals brand and the sandals standard, but overall, if you're visiting sandals for the first time, I think Sandals Royal Curacao is a perfect option for you. If you've been to other sandals, you'll notice the lack of fine tuning in some of the details here and there but overall this is an amazing property to come to to relax to enjoy the ambience of the beautiful caribbean now guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button and activate the bell if you want to see more travel content and if you're finding this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button and most importantly share it with your friends family or anyone you know who's thinking about traveling to sandals royal curacao
you want to have the time of your life, the place to be at is the main resort's pool, which is the Dos Agua Pool. It is beautiful, it overlooks the ocean, and the DJ plays some amazing music. Oh, did I mention you also have a swimmer bar? Yeah, it's awesome. If you're an early riser, this might not be the best property for you to catch the sunrise. And this is because the entire property is facing the west. So the sunsets here is what you're looking for. They are incredible. They are so, so pretty that honestly, you're better off saving your sleep, sleeping, and when the sunset hits, that's the time you want to head out to the beach to snap some amazing, amazing photos of the sunset. Now, the last thing I want to mention about the resort is that it is very, very photogenic. It has a lot of different backdrops, a lot of different photo opportunities that once again, you cannot miss on. So if you're big on your Instagram game, this is a perfect, perfect resort to come to. Now, let's talk about food. Here at Sandals Royal Curacao, you're gonna have 11 different dining options. Within those 11 dining options, you have three food trucks and eight bars to complement those dining options. So we're staying at Sandals Royal Curacao for four days and three nights only. I know, I know, I know. I wish we could stay here for longer, but because of that, we're going to sacrifice ourselves and have dinner twice just so we can show you guys some of the different options you have here on property. The first one is Gatsu Gatsu, which is a sushi bar, sushi restaurant. It's open from 6.30 to 9.30. Okay, so we just finished eating at Gatsu Gatsu. What do you think? Did you like it? Yeah, you liked it? I think it was okay compared to like other sushi restaurants at different sandals resorts like soy for example it has a lot of potential but there are some minor details that they can tune um so the experience is is, is a lot better so we made it to the second restaurant of the night the name is vincent this one requires you to have a previous reservation and you're supposed to dress up a little bit nicer so we're gonna change so we can head inside We're ready. What do you think about tonight's dinner? The dessert is my favorite part. Dessert was your favorite part? Honestly, I think the, the entree was amazing. Um, I had pork, Daniela had steak, and both of them were delicious. What else did you like about the place? The service was really good, and I like the food. Service? Oh, the bread was amazing too. By the way, when we first got here, I joked around with the waitress about my passion for bread and she took it a little bit too serious and she ended up bringing us like two baskets of bread. Hey, I'm not complaining. Um, so that was really cool. Okay guys, so now Butch's is the other restaurant you need a reservation for. This is a steakhouse, but once again, you are required to have a previous reservation and you do need to dress a little bit nicer. We are going to put on a button-down shirt with some khaki pants so we can taste this amazing place. Okay, time to talk about what you guys have been waiting for throughout the entire video. 
the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful from Sandals Royal Curacao. The good thing is that this is a west-facing property, so the sunsets here are amazing. The other good thing is that this is a brand new resort. I believe it opened on June of 2022. And the bonus good thing is that this is a resort that caters more to a younger audience or at least younger guests come here compared to other sandals resorts. The bad. The bad is that there are a lot of minor details that the resort team has to fine tune to make this an amazing, amazing getaway. Just to give you guys an idea, I'm still waiting on my fries from last night's dinner at Butch's. I guess they totally forgot to bring them and it happens a lot, not only to us, but to other guests as well. And I guess we can add up to that the fact that it seems like some team members don't pay attention to what the guest is asking them for or to what they're doing in general which again becomes an issue with delays or the wrong orders we were at a restaurant and we told them that we didn't want to eat any spice we ended up getting or sushi with the spicy aioli sauce for example and again it's just attention to detail the ugly for me a downside is that the pool areas don't have a lot of shade yes they have cabanas and yes they have umbrellas but unfortunately the way they're set up it's not the best when it comes to providing shade. I know a lot of people come out here to the Caribbean to soak up the sun, but we are not big fans of just laying under the sun because of her skin. It's very um, delicate and it's an unfortunate situation that there aren't enough shaded areas around the pools. The other ugly about this resort and it's not that big of a deal, but I think it's, it is worth mentioning the beach. If there's something Sandals Resorts are known for, it's for building or constructing their resorts among the best beaches in the Caribbean. In Curacao, the majority of the beach is not swimmable because the current is strong, it's very rocky. So what they had to do is they had to build their own beach area, which is great, it's amazing. But comparing that to other Sandals Resorts, I guess that is definitely a downside. Now the beautiful is that this resort is very photogenic. It has so many photo opportunities, it is incredible. And again, if you're big on your Instagram game, if you are a photographer or somebody who just enjoys sharing everything on social media, this is definitely a place to come. The last beautiful thing about the resort is the scenery. Lush green gardens, there's a golf course, the ocean is beautiful. <sighs> it's just breathtaking. Now guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and most importantly, share it with your friends, family, or anyone you know who's thinking about traveling to Sandals Royal Curacao. I like to wish all of you happy holidays. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and activate the bell so you guys don't miss any of my upcoming travel videos. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Estoy sudando. Me veo bien? Happy holidays, guys, from the view. Uh, me falta como energía, no sé. <clears throat>